So I realized that it would be almost impossible for me to use this H11 and record it at the same time. So I conscripted, enlisted, Mrs. VacLab for the first <laughs> run. We've kind of gone over everything somewhat. I've read the manual, she hasn't. And I did find something out that was pretty cool. So I was debating whether or not to actually use this multi-surface fork cleaner fluid. But if you turn it around, I, I was concerned actually uh, because we have a dog and sometimes she, well, she's gonna lick the floor, just, it just happens. So bottom line is if you can see that there, it says under features, grime and sticky messes, gentle, skin friendly, non-toxic and non-irritating. Okay, so to me that means pet friendly somewhat. So we're gonna go ahead and use the fluid. Now there's some funny business, I suppose, regarding the fluid. I scoured the manual. There is no mention of this fluid, no picture of the fluid, but the fluid exists. It came in the box. I looked in the quick start guide. I saw nothing. Now in the directions that I just showed you on the back, it says dilute at about 50 to one ratio. Okay, wonderful. It also says that the cap holds 45 milliliters. All right, a full cap. All right, that's fantastic. And in the manual, it says the top bin here that holds the water, yeah, that one, holds about 30 ounces. Okay, now most people are not going to be able to convert ounces to milliliters and divide by 50 and blah, blah, blah. So I did all this stuff for you, and I found out that if you use about one-third of the cap to a full container of water, that should be a 50 to 1 ratio. And if you do that, let's see, this has 500 milliliters in there. So you're going to be talking maybe 33 or 35 um, one-third cap uses before you empty that bottle. So that would give you the opportunity to do a lot of square feet of flooring. So that being said, I've had Mrs. VacLab practice the various different buttons and remove the bins and so on and so forth, but we will uh, just see what happens and I'll try to help her where I can. So the first thing she's going to do is fill this top bin and install one third of one cap of this nifty DreamTech multi-surface fluid. Okay. Yep. Pop that up. There's where you go and fill it up with water. Something else in the manual, it doesn't say what temperature water, so we're just gonna use warm. Maybe they want cold, maybe they want hot, maybe they don't care. But no mention in the manual of what temperature water to use. So we're just gonna too start hot, in the middle. <laughs> Normally in my Hoover Steamback Wide Path, I start out with hot, but we're not going to do that for this. And this is going to be a long demonstration video, but it's going to be as practical as it gets. As long as you can fit in a third of a cap and then, you know, shake it and mix it around just a little bit. That's what you're supposed to do. Really, you've got all I, this extra room in okay. there, so I think we'll be uh, good. Yeah, that's good enough. <laughs> shake it up first. No. Yeah, sure. <laughs> A little shake. I don't know if this is it bubbling or not. Cap? Yeah, there's the cap. I don't see yeah. bubbles, but and it doesn't have much of a smell. I wonder if it'll make much of a difference. Mm, that might be yeah. a okay. third. It All could right. be a little over. Good enough. <laughs> That's what we got to work with. Except for I'm a righty, so I'm turning yeah. it. Pour it in. All right, fantastic. Now, go ahead and give it a smell and tell me what you what you think it smells like. Pretty much nothing? Not smell anything. Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah pretty tiny, much nothing. A tiny hint, but not so, really. Mostly neutral. Oh, there's the bubbles. There you go. <laughs> bubbles. No, oh, didn't want to put it back on with coming yeah. on the outside. Close that. Turn yeah. the hands off. Alrighty. All right, here we go. Can I grip it again to hold it? Yeah, the first tank. Uh, we do have a full charge. I, I charged it actually a couple days ago all the way up to 100 and then just checked it to make so sure that it stayed at 100. You can't, you, got push, it, you, got, you can't push it in. Yeah, you so have to I angle it just a little bit. Makes it easier. Bottom down. Yeah. And then, and then click. Bloop. All right. Fantastic. 
<laughs> now here comes the fun part. How do we turn it on and make it do its thing? Yeah, you're gonna move up from the wall first. Yep. So we have a power button, and we have this this like waterish button, which whoop, over here uh, seems to indicate if you push it, maybe it puts it into a high suction mode, and then you have the self clean. So we will see how all this stuff works, and maybe Rosie will actually help us. Yeah, you gonna sit there? So what we've done is we shook out. You notice all our mats like we would normally have for the door, near the doors, are all gone because I just shook the mats onto the linoleum. And the linoleum is, eh, we haven't really cleaned it, steamed it one way or another in about a month. So this is about as dirty as it gets. And that's with three humans and a dog. We also have one potential problem. That is a part of a leaf. <laughs> so I'm going to leave that there and see if that actually clogs the H11. I mean, maybe won't have any effect. Don't know if it can handle debris that's that large. Obviously, it's a wet dry machine. Okay, so where am I starting? Uh, anywhere you like. Doesn't matter. Well, I'm the one behind the camera. Go over there uh, so that I'm not okay. stepping on everything after I've cleaned. All right. So, Come around the island right. and you do push the on button, and hopefully we see some water come out. <laughs> I mean, slowly. What do you mean? Okay. Oh. Oh, okay. I didn't so, realize I pushed it. Uh, pushed it twice. Okay. We'll try it again. Yeah, try it again. So just give it. There we are. And now, so, is it? Uh, do we see any water coming out? Uh, not yet. Uh, oh, I do. I oh, do. Now I do. Yep. There, there it, is. it is. It's it's the shiny stuff. Yep. And it's very minimal. Okay. Wonderful. So it's doing its thing now. I would say it's slightly on the quiet side. It, yeah. it really isn't loud, uh, and it's not the quietest thing in the world either. And it's not leaving puddles. Yeah. <laughs> now we had it started 100%. And it's, it's, down. <laughs> it's already down to 98. Okay, there's three spots. Let's see if I can get them. Oh yeah, there's a couple of spots. Okay. Yeah. One. Yeah. Two. Gone. Oh, gone. Okay. So two passes. Yeah. There will be some sticky stuff on our linoleum, you know, some food stains, whatever. And you know what? Depending on how this goes, at the end of all this, or maybe I'll even put it in another video, depending, we'll do a big mess test. You know, like the crazy oh. stuff I see where people put like, I don't know, spilled milk and ketchup or mustard or something like that on the floor and then, you know, have their wet dry machine go and pick it up, see how well that does. Right. Okay, so it does, yeah, there you can see that right there. It's kind of a glistening oh, effect on there. Red. Okay, okay that's good. Oh, green. so it said it said it was uh, a this little... This turned red. And yeah, then... okay, that's extra dirty, I guess. Oh. <laughs> yeah, it says, oh. I, need, I need extra power. Yep, there it is. So what does that mean? So it's, it's on auto mode, and it says it's oh. detected extra, you know, it's probably extra resistance, you know, extra dirt that needs to be picked up, that kind of thing. <laughs> And does it all by itself. So we're now down to 94. Now this is just the very first charge. Yeah, look at that. It's changing. So as the battery gets conditioned, you'll get more runtime out of it. That's just the way lithium ion batteries work. You don't get max, absolute maximum runtime on the very first charge. This is the very first charge for this particular machine though. Okay. I think it's orange, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it's orange, yeah. Let's see. Orange. No. Oh, no, oh, okay. Ooh, so it detected that underneath the table was dirtier than normal. I wouldn't have... I wouldn't have expected that. And I can tell, might be a little hard for you to see, that we have dirt accumulating in the bottom recovery bin. Just a little bit. But it looks like it's doing quite a nice job. Let me see it from Mrs. Vac Lab's vantage point here. Okay, we're already down to 91%. 
Well, now it went down to 90. So battery is dropping fast. <laughs> So, so far, initial impressions. Weight, maneuverability? Uh, maneuverability is nice. It is a little bit on the heavy side to me, but it's very self-propelled. It just takes off. <laughs> yeah, it would be. It's basically got carpet for a brush roll. That's going to have a lot of grip, at least on linoleum anyway. Yeah, I mean, when it starts going forward, it, it literally will pull out of my hand if I'm not holding it tight. <laughs> <laughs> That's nice, this twisting. Uh huh. There you go. It has angularity. Now, longtime subscribers know that we have a huge, giant 26 pound. Hoover Steam Vac Wide Path. Been using it for over 20 years. It does a great job on bare floors and carpet, but it's massive. Yes. It's extremely loud and it's very, very heavy uh, on your wrist. Absolutely. It's done a great job, but I have to wonder, is this going to replace it? Okay. <laughs> and we also have a Eureka Enviro Clean machine, which is just a hot water steamer. And that's very inexpensive, and it's extremely quiet because there's no motor. And, uh, Mrs. Vac Lab, otherwise known as Ellie, likes using that. And I wonder if this is going to replace that as well. Although this is not a steamer. It doesn't work with steaming hot water. Yeah, where did the leaf go? Uh, I think you're I think it's behind you. Did it move? Oh. Yeah, I think it moved. It blew. <laughs> so okay, so you can see that it's a little wet still. It's got a bit of a water sheen. So that's the job it's doing. Yeah, our leaf is moved. Like, there, it's it's in the upper left part of your screen. <laughs> I'm not sure how it moved, but it moved. Is there air that blows on this? I don't know. I don't know. Somewhere. It's got a motor. Maybe it's stuck on my shoe or something. I don't know. <laughs> Yep, I can see dirty water in the tank there. Mrs. Vaclab certainly is doing a thorough job. And here comes the leaf. All right. Will it clog? Oh. Go behind it. Yeah, go behind it. There. All right. All right. Okay, are we ready? Here we go. Now you see it. There, it's gone. Doesn't seem to have clogged anything. Oh, okay. So it does. It, I thought it turned red for a second. It did. I saw green and then red. orange and then red. And All then right. Orange again. Okay. Well, the fact that it is still green, I'm pretty sure that means the leaf didn't clog anything. 
Although I wouldn't, I wouldn't recommend it for leaf pickup. I just wanted to see what it would do. Yeah. We have all types of mat debris to pick up. So the fact that this H11 doesn't put down a whole lot of water means it should dry pretty quick. Now watch it pick up our garage mat debris. Oh, great shape. Came right up. Looks clean as a whistle. Yep, not pushing yep. it around or anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Looks like maybe we've used about half. It's just a guess. It's a little hard to tell. <laughs> There's still plenty left. Now this is very old linoleum, so if you notice like some uh, <clears throat> stain that's there, well, that's been there for a while, so just kind of ignore that. This was installed in early 2004, so it's got a few years on it. It's got some damage. Looks like our battery's down to about 70% or so. See that sheen there? I'm gonna slide this out. Water. So oh, oh, he wanna do that. Yeah, very, very minimal water amount. Okay, in front of the refrigerator, <laughs> it turned very oh, red. Right here, that's where you probably spill, spill things when you're cooking, too. Funny, it's so sensitive. I mean, it doesn't look like the floor is really that dirty. Now you can monitor it. Yeah. Let's see if it changes for you. It mostly stays green, goes orange a little bit, and once in a great while, it hits red.
You know, I almost wonder if that indicator is triggered by brush roll resistance. Red? <laughs> yep. Nice. Yep, that's red. That's definitely red. Wow. All right, hopefully it gets back to green quickly. Oh, green. <laughs> All right, there you go. You need something sticky-ish. Water, so it's yeah, not like it's water. Out. We're coming, coming close to the time for a dump. And I just bet you that water is dirty. So, looking at where we started, just to your upper left part of the screen, it doesn't have a watery sheen anymore, and the linoleum now appears to be completely dry. That sure is handy. I don't like walking in it, but... <laughs> yeah. Somewhat unavoidable. Some people might have thought when we started this video that the floor really wasn't dirty at all. But when we do the recovery bin emptying, we'll see just how dirty it is. Well, one bin might be enough to do this whole floor. That might be. into pretty small tight spots but not all of them <laughs>
It was green when we first did it, I think. <laughs> then it suddenly turns red and now it's orange. Alright. Yeah, I think I'm good. Okay. Oh, oh, that's it's a light. There's a light behind you. Yep. There is a light behind you. I don't usually look where I'm going. Yeah. Let's see. Power button generator. Yep. 47. There you go. 47. Go ahead. Power off. Powered off. Please place your vacuum on the base for self-cleaning. Okay. So now that's what we need to do. So let's go ahead and set up the base and then we'll uh, use I guess the rest of the water in there for self-cleaning. So we managed to get everything cleaned on our kitchen linoleum and yeah unfortunately it's a little like a little foggy in here uh, but there's still a little bit of water left. So we you know what we're going to do. We're going to go and take a look at how dirty the actual water is in the recovery tank and then we'll put a little more water in the supply tank and run a, a cleaning cycle. Because I have a funny feeling if we run the cleaning cycle, you know, it's going to dilute really what's there. Also, she needs to clean the brush roll as well. Okay, so take it away, Mrs. Lab. Let's see how dirty the water is. Since I'm not a lefty, let's do yep. this. Pinch. Mm -hmm. We can take a look at the filter. I showed her how to remove the brush roll. It's it's a little weird. Okay. Put you it might down. want to put that in the sink. We just, we just well, the, well, I'm just doing the filter for you. Okay. Just in case it flashes. Oh, okay. I mean, we have a sink. Might yeah, that is, it, right? that is dirty. If you look on an angle, you can see the dark. Oh. And I see my hair inside here. <laughs> oh, okay. There's a, there's a gray hair in there. Oh, hey. no. All right, flip it over. What's it look like on the other side? All right, that ought to rinse out. So you can go ahead and rinse that out. And at some point in time, we'll... Pour the dirty water out here in a minute. Take a look at it. I get so many comments, people saying, why don't you put some dirt down so we can see it pick up huge amounts of dirt. It's like, well, there's more dirt in there than you think. So is that coming clean as far as you can tell? Too hot. Too hot, okay. Yeah, and you know what's cool is Dream Tech gives you a pair of these filters so while one is drying you can go and put another fresh one in same thing with the brush roll yeah so I mean, that's I, handy okay I man i don't see the little brown no. right. I mean, that's probably just water in there okay. it looks great set right. that over the side all right and now let's see how dirty is the water you want to put the stopper in I have to save the water, huh? Yeah. Well, oh. it, it makes it more dramatic. Hey, we're making a YouTube video, so everything always has to be extra dramatic, right? All right. No, you can't even... Ooh. Yeah. Oh, gross. Oh, what God. level I can see? Oh. <laughs> yeah, this is the part yeah. I don't like to look yeah, at. Just throw it out. the top off. Guess I'll go in Just the sink. Up. Yep, that's good. Be safe. Don't look. <laughs> no. Oh, well, that's going to clog the sink up. Yeah. Well, you can pull the big chunk out. But look at all that. There's there's all this little hair and whatnot. So we won't necessarily put that down the sink. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. <laughs> there we go. That's it. Okay, fantastic. So that will go in the garbage. It needs to be emptied as well. Yeah. And then there's look a the lot of chunk. chunkies. Okay. There's a lot of chunks in there. That's it. Oh, gross. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, and, there you go. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. Fantastic. So it looks like it did its job, right? Yeah, look how dirty that is. Mm-hmm. Oh. So for everybody that thought, well... There's the leaf. <laughs> there's the leaf. And it didn't clog anything. Back Lab's floor is clean. This isn't a good test. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Look at that. That is fantastic. So I'm I'm very impressed there, and there's the pool of goo. Yeah, look at that. I'm trying to keep the big chunks from going down. When do we pull yeah. the stopper? 
That's it. Okay, go ahead and rinse rocks. away. <laughs> yeah, look at that. There's rocks Well, that, that stuff's from the mat. That's not really from our floor. That's, that's stuck in the mats. There were five mats, I think four mats on the regular linoleum, Dramatic. then one in that half bathroom. And there we go. So the Dream Tech is definitely doing this job. Huh. Too well. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. Now, Ellie says she doesn't really enjoy seeing the dirt. No, She'd rather so it's just, just, you know, This is nasty. Like, oh, I want to play with my dirt. The one and only time you're going to have me put my hands in yep. this hole. <laughs> That's it. Gross. So once that is reasonably rinsed out, go ahead and reassemble everything, and then we're going to do the brush roll clean. I mean, you don't have to worry about getting it dry because it's just going to get wet again. Must tuck yes. that end in first. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's an angled tuck filter. Tuck. Yeah, that's it. Uh, Is that it? Okay. Oopsie. All right, we'll put the recovery tank in. And we'll take out the foggy supply tank. Click. And all we're going to do is just add more water here. So it's got enough to do its, its self-clean. So that's what you have left. We started up here. Yeah. So I'm going to guess the whole thing can probably do maybe 400 square feet. I mean, of course, it all depends on how fast you go. So Mrs. Lab seemed to be... Just go ahead and add some how water. How much do you want to put in here? Oh, three quarters. I mean, I don't know how much it's going to use. We haven't run it yet. Awesome. So I think Mrs. Backlab goes a little on the slow side. I might go a bit faster. So really, it just depends on how dirty everything is and how fast you push it. Is that good? Okay. All right. That's good. He always says I go too fast. Okay, now we're going to clean the brush roll. Oh, did you want to see what the brush roll looks like before? Okay, here's the, I'm here's the before. I'm going to come up in here. All right, that's good. All right, there you go. No, I can't really doesn't really look that doesn't really look no. that bad, but you know, we'll see, you know, I suppose it's supposed to really rinse it. So we'll see what happens. And maybe, you know, the rest of the system as well. So I have to lift it and uh, lift get it. connection there. Yeah, huh? you got to get a connection in the back there. So, yeah. Oh. Yeah. Over. Yeah, keep going all the way back and then go ahead and just set it down once you get it over oh, enough. Start charging. That's it. Charging. Okay, yep. So it'll start charging. All right, now go ahead and push the self clean button. Oh, I thought it was going to automatically start. I don't think Maybe. so. I, you might have to push it hold for a few seconds. I'm not sure. Okay, go ahead and let up. See what Start self cleaning. Right. Roller brush cleaning. Ah, now here comes some water. Yep, there we go. Intelligent detection. What? Intelligent detection? I, I think that's what it said. It's processing water through that brush roll, that's for sure. It's going close. Wow. Please cool. clean the dirty water tank. 
All right, great. So let's Please do that. Clean the dirty water tank. Yeah. Let's go ahead and start charging. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go ahead and pull the dirty water tank out. And let's see how much additional goo it got off the brush roll. Yeah. yeah. There's a couple little yeah. nothings, yeah, but a little bit. Yeah, it, it, pretty insignificant. A little itty bitty. <laughs> Those rocks down there. Hmm. Right, just lift it straight up. Yeah. It's... Hold the bottom down and lift her straight up. You. So we got more off the brush roll. All right, there you go. So that's how dirty just the brush roll was, and maybe some of the the inner piping, so to speak. Okay. Pour away. Yeah, well, it's much cleaner than, you know, last time, but there's still some in there. Yep. Yeah, go ahead and rinse her out. Yep. Now, probably the, the best way to take care of this is the same way that I use the um, Hoover Steam Vac Wide Path, and that is I let all the parts actually dry. You know, I don't just put it together and let mold and mildew form. So I'm going to let some of these parts dry, just kind of sit out. Not outside course, today. Right now that may be a little difficult because we have snow. We have snow. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to be having this dry near a heat vent so it'll dry quicker. A little airflow, a little heat. That's the way to put dry stuff. But for the sake of this video, we'll put everything back together and then I'll point my camera at Mrs. Vaclab's face and she'll tell me what she thinks. Oh, so I'm reassembling. Okay. Yeah, you might as well. So the bins are clean. Put the square peg in the round hole. <laughs> the filter's clean. The brush roll is clean. So we're all clean. And I'm kind of jealous because she was the first one to use it. And I don't even know what this what this is like. So <laughs> not yet. So we're at, let's see, what's it say here? Ah, okay. Please insert the tank, which is now what she's doing. No. Yeah. And then click. Now let's see. Well, tell me to yeah. empty the Okay, that's it. Wonderful. You want to empty the top out? Uh yeah, you can. Sure. No need to leave water in there. Yeah, please don't leave water and solution in there and then just <laughs> stick it, you know, in your closet or something. Does this one just lift off too? Uh, no, remember? Well, I don't know. I, I, don't I don't think it does. I think you just have to pour it out. I don't think it separates that way. You know, I haven't tried. If it does, I'm going to look really dumb. <laughs> yeah, so let's see. Does, does it pull up? Does it pull up? Nah. Well, you oh. know, me and fingernails. I... No. Okay. So probably have to do it the, yeah, like that. Just... Let it come out that way. Oh, cool. that's dumb. Now, if it does separate in a in a different way, we just haven't felt comfortable with breaking it apart like that. I, I don't think it does, nope. though. Okay, great. I gotta get all this open. Yeah, get a little rinse. There still. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's soap in there, obviously. Look at that. Yeah. We'll let it overflow. Yeah. Blah, 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 blah. Well, I'm going to go ahead and give my opinion of this uh, DreamTech H11. I'm highly impressed. And it's very difficult for me to actually be highly impressed because if you look at the machines, the two machines that we were using in the past, one for over 20 years and one eh, probably about five or six, this is a real game changer. You know, it's completely different type of technology. And for the cleaning amount and type that we did, I think it did a great job. So while she's fiddling with that, I can show you how clean our linoleum is, our 18-year-old linoleum. So it did, a, it did a wonderful job. It was convenient, I think. I think it was reasonable to maneuver, but you know, Mrs. Vaclav will have to talk about that a little bit more. And it wasn't uh, incredibly noisy.
look at all that. Here's down the hallway. And everything's dry now. I mean, it, it's done. I don't have to worry about our dog Rosie licking anything. You know, food falls on the floor and she goes and decides to try to find every last crumb. And that's it. So, really fantastic. Is what it Rosie think? approved? What do you think? There. Oh, gotta check it out. Yep. Got the sniff test, it yep. passed. Hopefully it smells just like water. <laughs> you can get your nose out of there. Okay, so, Mrs. Vac Lab, what do you think? Yeah, two thumbs up. And Very nice unit. If I could put the camera down, I'd put uh, both of my two thumbs up as well, but I can only give it one give thumb you, at the give moment. Give you Rosie's thumbs too? Yeah, Rosie's thumbs. <laughs> so this is a great product. Obviously, we both recommend it. So if this is something you're interested in, uh, please check out the links in the description below. And until next time, happy wet, dry mopping.